Setting up scenes and timers can make your everyday life easier. Make your motorized shades work for you. A scene is when you want a shade or group of shades to move to a specific position with one command. Scenes can also be used in conjunction with a timer. For example, you can set a scene called Good Morning to have your bedroom shades rise each morning, or a scene called Good Evening and have all the shades in your entire house go down with one simple command. To set a scene, go to your 3D Blinds app and select the Scene tab. Then tap the blue plus sign. Give your scene a name. We recommend using a name that's simple but descriptive, particularly if you'll be using Amazon Alexa or Google Home to operate. You can also select which icon you'd like to show for this scene. Then tap Add Shade, and the app will take you to a list of all of the shades connected to the app. You can choose one or more shades to add to a scene. When you select the shade, it will prompt you to select the position you'd like the shade to move to. Click Done to save the shade position, and you will see the shade now has a blue check mark next to it, indicating it's a part of the scene. Repeat this process on any additional shades you wish to add. When you're finished, tap the Done button to save changes, and then tap Done again to exit the scene setup, which will take you back to the home page. When you tap the Play button in a scene, any shades you've set up within that scene will move to your preset positions. To modify or manage existing scenes, tap the Scenes tab and then tap on the three dots in the upper right corner. You will then see options to sort the scenes. If you select Sort Scenes, you can either use the up arrows to move the selected scene up or hold and drag the scene to move it to your desired location. This is especially handy if you have scenes you'll use more than others. To modify a scene, click the three dots again in the upper right corner and select Scene Settings. A list of all the scenes you have created will show and you can select the one you wish to modify. From here, you can change the name of the scene or icon used and add the scene to Siri if on an Apple device. You can also add additional shades to the scene by tapping Add Shade or delete a shade by swiping left on the shade and tapping the red X. Lastly, you can add a timer to the scene for even more convenience. Tap the days of the week you'd like the timer to run. The timer can be set to a specific time of day or at sunrise or sunset, and you can even have the timer set up for up to 120 minutes before or after. Tap Done when finished to save your changes. You can also add timers directly from the Timers tab. Select the plus sign to begin. The app will ask if you want a shade or scene timer and the setup process for each is the same. If you select Shade Timer, the app will display all the shades that are connected to the app. And if you click Scene Timer, it will show all of the scenes you've set up. For this example, I will show you the Shade Timer. Select the shade you want to add a timer to. Begin by tapping the Shade Settings to see a list of all of the shades connected to the app and choose the shade you would like to add to the timer. You will be prompted to select the position you would like the shade to move to, or you can select the Heart button to have the shade move to your favorite position. Tap Done to save your changes, and you will now see a blue check mark by the shade. Repeat these steps with any additional shades you wish to add to the timer, and hit Done when you're finished to save changes. You can then select the days of the week and time. The timer can be set to a specific time of day or to run at sunrise or sunset with the option of up to 120 minutes before or after. Tap Done to save changes. Setting timers and scenes are a great way to have your shades operate exactly how you want them to. Thanks for watching.